and with the new administrator on board, a groundbreaking ceremony was held this morning to expand the emergency department and critical care and intensive care units at GMH. And according to new GMH administrator Joseph Berga, if you build it, they will come. Emergency departments are sometimes joyous and sometimes uh, sad places. But emergency departments are often the, gate, the first gatekeeper to, to not only the hospital, but to our entire health system. The project will expand the emergency department threefold from 5,400 square feet to 15,000 square feet whereas the CCU will expand from 2,539 square feet to 7,870 square feet. DCK Pacific Guam is the design-build contractor with costs expected around $7.5 million. That financing, meanwhile, was noted by the governor's office as a direct result of then-Senator Eddie Bozacalvo's legislation in the Budget Act back in 2008, prioritizing funds for GMH capital improvement projects and capital operating expenses. Governor Cavo congratulated the staff and volunteers of Guam's only public hospital for doing an exemplary job with so little resources. And when we see a project such as this, what this project does is now give you the type of facilities and tools so that you can do the work that you have been doing so, so uh, such a tremendous job in the past. Virga says it's no secret of the challenges GMH faces, but this expansion will help ensure that no patient is ever turned away. And this project will enable us to not only offer the best state-of-the-art care in the best environment we can, but it will enable us to render care in, in a much safer uh, way um, and uh, without uh, having to uh, and alleviate some of the overcrowding issues. The project is expected to be completed by January 2014. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.